That's right, ladies and gentlemen. That uh, title is no joke. There is, we are, in fact, getting the return of Gre Greg Weissman on Spider-Man. Now, granted, it's sadly not a spectacular Spider-Man TV show, but it's a spectacular Spider-Men comic. So this will be in canon with Marvel Comics. It is, first off, Greg Weissman back on Spider-Man. Perfect. And the fact that it's called it's called Spectacular Spider-Man, clearly, uh, clearly a reference to probably arguably the best Spider-Man animated cartoon of all time. No offense to the 90s cartoon, but Spectacular Spider-Man was goaded. Now, this is really cool. Greg Weissman on a mainstream Spider-Man title. Greg Weissman has done comics for Marvel before. Obviously, he's doing Disney comics with Gargoyles over in Dynamite. So it is cool that he is getting work over at Comics. He, he did do also uh, Kanan Jarrus' origin in um, star, in uh, the Kanan ongoing. When I say ongoing, it probably went about, I don't know, 12, 15 issues. And Greg Weissman did that. He's also done other comics for Marvel here and there. But nothing too major. So this is a major Spider-Man title that he is a part of. And here's the big thing. Like I said, it's Spectacular Spider-Men. So it's a team-up book of Spider-Man. It's Peter and Miles. Yeah. I don't think we've seen Weissman write Miles Morales. But I'm very excited at the thought of him not only writing Peter again, but now he's writing Miles. Awesome. I actually was kind of hoping we'd get a title like... Also, it's shocking to me that, like, we haven't gotten a title like this since Miles became part of the Spider of the main Marvel Universe. You would think that, like, obviously Miles gets his own title and Peter has his own title, but you'd think that Marvel would, break syner would bring up some synergy and have, like, a team-up title of Peter and Miles together. Now, obviously, I think one of the reasons why this title is coming out is because of the Spider-Man 2 game where you had Peter and Miles together. So it's probably so this is probably to keep up synergy with that where you have the two Spider-Man characters together. But the other major thing is obviously having one of the best the, one of the best show writer uh, showrunners for an animated show that is very loved and another show that he did that was Spider-Man centric. I also think that like another reason why they they had another Spider-Man title come out wasn't just for synergy with um, Spy the Spider-Man 2 game, but also mostly because like if you haven't noticed yet, all the Spider-Man titles that are coming out now are way more interesting than what we have with um, the Amazing Spider-Man title, which is anything. It should be called anything but Amazing Spider-Man. Um, yeah. That comic is off. That comic, I think I've said enough about it. And, yeah. So the fact that, it, like, now we also have Ultimate Spider-Man from Jonathan Hickman, which will pro which gives us everything we've wanted for a Spider-Man title. So uh, that's really awesome. That we're getting a full-on um, Spider-Man title from uh, John Hickman with him married to Mary Jane, having kids, having a normal life, you know, all the stuff we want, we've been wanting for Spider-Man for years, if not decades. So to have that is really cool. And this doesn't look like it's going, now I will admit this probably won't be like a deep cerebral Spider-Man comic, although I do think, I do foresee we will probably get that in some capacity one way or another. Um, but I will say that, like, I do think that, like, this probably won't have, an, a, like, a major a title effect. Maybe get some tie-ins here and there. But it'll probably be, like, its own thing. Like, it'll be in continuity, but it, kind of its own thing. Um, the other... Uh, the other, Now, you're probably wondering, well, who is the artist? Well, the artist has been confirmed as Humberto Ramos. Now, Ramos ha is no stranger to Spider-Man. He, he worked with um, a lot of Spider-Man writers, obviously the biggest being Dan Slott. Humberto Ramos is a writer I'm half and half on. I don't, uh, like, he's not, I know he's, like, very well known for writing, for drawing Spider-Man. I personally am, like, half and half on him. There are times where Ramos's artwork is really good, and then there's other times where it's just like, ah, uh, you got rushed, and it really shows. It's a problem with, like, I have a few writers where, I mean, or not writers, artists, where they have these, like, great portfolios, but I just kind of think, like, they either get rushed and it looks really bad, or it looks good. Ramos is kind of like, eh, to me. But I do, I do know there is an appeal for Humberto Ramos as an artist for Spider-Man. I think he works best when he's doing Spider-Man. Even, but even then, I'm like, 
eh. Um, it's the same thing of like Chris Bocciolo. Whenever Chris Bocciolo gets it right, he does really good solid work. But then when there's other times where it's like, yeah. And also John Romita Jr., where John Romita Jr. can be really good, and then he can fail horribly. Um, so there's that. Um, but yeah, I'm re it also looks like the first story arc is going to involve the Jackal. We see what looks like the Jackal to me. It's a big. He looks like Sully became um, the the ja the Jackal became Sully from Monsters Inc. But you guys tell me in the comments below. Um, what do you guys think of Greg Weissman's Spectacular Spider-Man? It will be coming out in March, and I'm very excited for it. So yeah, just comment below, let me know, what do you guys think of this? I'm very excited, and again, it's nice to have a Spider-Man title, another Spider-Man title that's probably not going to suck. But anyway, once again, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse, I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.